Beautiful afternoon in this very beautiful park uh, to honor some very, very special individuals who uh, do so, so much for us. A uh, Yonkers Public School student who graduates from high school will spend more than 10,000 hours with his or her teacher. Our students spend more time with teachers than, than anyone else, than even us as parents. That's why nearly every one of us has a story about a great teacher who helps shape the course of our lives. I truly believe teaching is the most important profession in our society. And it's time to recognize our city's teachers for all the work they do inside the classroom and out. So for all the teachers, let's give them a round of applause. That is for all the time they spend, both on the clock and many often, do it off the clock. And all the, recess, the resources they expend, their own money at times, buying supplies, gifts, and other items for the students. This year, to pay tribute to Yonkers teachers, I am recognizing three teachers as Yonkers Teachers of the Year. And with the help of Superintendent, Superintendent Perazio, my office received nearly 100 nominations from parents, students, administrators, and other teachers too. I was touched by the outpouring of support for the Yonkers Teachers and the 2013 City of Yonkers Teachers of the Year are Alexandra, Patricia, and Dawn. And they're all very special individuals who are here with us today. They also represent more than 3,000 educators and support staff at the Yonkers Public Schools and go above and beyond the call of duty each and every day. To our Outstanding Teachers of the Year and to all Yonkers teachers, again, thank you. So I'm gonna start off with, and before I do that, let me just introduce um, the head of the Yonkers Education Committee for the Yonkers City Council, who's here, Mike Sabatino. Michael, thank you for being here. The, Minority Leader of the Yonkers City Council, uh, John Larkin is here. Uh, Judy, Judy Meyer Ramos, uh, Judy Ramos Meyer, uh, I did that, sorry about that, Tom. Um, she's uh, the newest uh, member of the Board of Trustees for Yonkers Board of Education. Thank you, Judy, for being here. Her husband, Commissioner Tom Meyer, who is also DPW Commissioner, thank you for being here. And. Um, you all know Kelly Chiarella from PTA, and, uh, and the majority leader, Yonkers City Council, who just arrived, Wilson Terrero. Wilson, thank you for coming. Our Teacher of the Year at the high school level is Miss Alexandra Romeo of Palisade Preparatory Woo! High School. Alexandra teaches Living Environment, AP, Biology, and Forensics. Alexandra's nominators describe her as a gem, yes. inventive, yes. a friend, a mentor. She's active with the Hudson Room, Hudson Room Museum and works at the BZAC Environmental Center. She passes on her love of science and the environment to her students who are themselves active volunteers and help out at the Yonkers Animal Shelter. I'd like to invite Palisade Preparatory Principal Dr. Michelle Yozolo and student Brian, uh, Brian Aguilar to give brief remarks and help me recognize Ms. Romero. So, uh, Thank you. Michelle. Well, I am the lucky principal to be working with uh, Ms. Romero. When I arrived at Palisade Prep in August two years ago, one of the first people that I met was Alexandra Romero. She was coordinating a schedule to meet with her AP biology students to prepare them for the upcoming rigorous course. Immediately, I knew she was committed to her students. As I got to know her, I began to understand that it wasn't just a commitment to her job, it was a dedication to her profession and to the students of Palisade Prep. Now, dedication to me has many different meanings, and I'd like to share to you, share with you, how Ms. Romero embodies all of those meanings. First and foremost, dedication represents love. 
Ms. Romero shows her love by getting to know her students as people first. She provides for them beyond the classroom, offering moral support and advice as well as advocating for their needs. Dedication is passion. Ms. Romero has boundless enthusiasm and passion for science. This enthusiasm has become contagious to her students. I think this is evidenced by the many of our students seeking out careers in science as a result of her influence. Dedication is practice. Ms. Romero is constantly seeking new ways to deliver her curriculum. She has spearheaded the Syracuse University Project Advanced Program at Palisade Prep. She has been trained and has successfully implemented the use of Moodle and MacBooks in her classroom, providing the students with different ways to show that they have mastered her content. Dedication is responsibility. Ms. Romero is not only the science department chair and the founder of the Animal Relief Club, but she takes any necessary action necessary to ensure the success of her fellow colleagues and students. She holds herself accountable and is always honest no matter what. Dedication is loyalty. Ms. Romero is a faithful teacher that has been at Palisade Prep since it opened. Her allegiance to the students does not go unnoticed. In fact, it is returned ten times over. Having her past and current students here today is a testament to the positive emotion she evokes. If you ask Ms. Romero, she will attribute her success to her students and to her colleagues. But I'm here to tell all of you that it is through her dedication that has made her deserving of this recognition. Dedication is not about the expectation of others, it's what you give to others. I am so proud and like I said, so lucky that Ms. Romero is a part of the Palisade Prep family. Congratulations, Alex. Enjoy the spotlight, you deserve it. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Zerlo. I am proud to stand here today to talk about our beloved teacher at Palisade Prep, Ms. Alexandra Romero. When our PTSA president, Rosa Castoridis, told me she was nominating her back in May, I had no doubt she would come out on top. Words cannot describe what an important role Ms. Romero plays in the lives of her students here at Palisade Preparatory School, each and every day. She goes above and beyond what a teacher is supposed to do. She is both a friend and mentor to many of her students on all different levels. Ms. Romero teaches from the heart, and if a student has a desire and will to learn, she will make sure the student is taught to their fullest potential. Many of the kids at school admire her, as she is inventive It doesn't always follow a traditional way of teaching. She wants students to both comprehend and be interested in the subject matter. Besides being a phenomenal teacher, Ms. Romero has a strong dedication to her community. Growing up in Yonkers, Ms. Romero knew of the dire situation stray animals face in the city, so she helped found the Animal Relief Club in our school in 2010. The club strives to raise funds for shelters and animal relief organizations, while also educating the community. There has been numerous occasions where people have found hurt or homeless animals in our school neighborhood, and sure enough, we all knew of whom to contact to take them to safe haven. Ms. Romero is preparing us to, to be mature, respectful, intelligent, young adults who will be ready to venture out into the world once we graduate from high school. During my sophomore year, I took Advanced Placement Biology, which was, which was taught by Ms. Romero. She gave me the opportunity through her teaching to learn and get a taste of all aspects of science, including DNA study and research. She has such a passionate love for the subject that it was hard not to have the same enthusiasm. It was contagious. The summer after the course, she recommended I attend an engineering program at Manhattan College, her alma mater, and from that point forward, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. Her love of science has sparked many interests in her st students and has inspired, her, inspired many to want to teach or learn more about research and engineering with the hopes that they will come back to Yonkers to make a difference in the city in some way, shape, or form. Ms. Romero has greatly influenced my decision for my future career. In the fall, I will be attending the City College of New York, majoring in biomedical engineering. Ms. Romero has taught me to work hard and to reach my fullest potential, regardless of what circumstances or obstacles come my way. She always told me not to, li not to listen to what others think, just to follow my heart and pursue what I love best. Through her advice, I managed to succeed in school, and today, I'm graduating as the valedictorian of my class. In conclusion, I would like to thank Mayor Mike Spano for creating this awards program, recognizing the great things Yonkers Public School teachers do. Furthermore, I would like to congr congratulate the two other winners of this prestigious honor. And lastly, Ms. Romero, on behalf of all your students, past and present, we love you. Thank you for always being there for us, and thank you for being a remarkable teacher. 
Uh, Brian, Brian, don't go anywhere. Come over here. Just so you know, there, there's one award. There's one award that goes out to a graduating senior uh, in the entire school district. It's called the Mayor's Award. Uh, and Brian is this year's uh, recipient of the Mayor's Award. And he'll be receiving it. He'll be receiving it today at his graduation. So congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. And, and to Miss Romero, we'd like you to come up so we can uh, make a presentation. Then we'd like you to say a few words. Miss Romero? Yes. Thank for you. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for that. Yes. Right. Um, I have. I don't know if I need a mic. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can I get? There's at twelve mic. Oh. Do I have to? Oh my God. No, no, just, just talk. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Okay. Um, Good afternoon and welcome ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank everyone in attendance today. Your support is highly appreciated. A special thanks to our mayor, Mike Spano, who has taken the time from his busy schedule to not just honor us, but the Yonkers educational system altogether. Rosa Castorides, Palisade Prep PTA president. You are our guardian angel. Your dedication and involvement enables us to extend the learning of our students far beyond the classroom. I dedicate this award to my students. They are the reason and motivation why I am, I am standing here today. I will continue my utter dedication to them. Sorry. On a personal level, I would like to thank my family, my parents, brother, loving husband, and pets, especially Sebastian, for their unconditional support. I began my career at Gorin High School 15 years ago, at which point I was fortunate to have met Diana Sharian, who became my chairperson, mentor, and friend. Thank you, Diana. You have been my inspiration to become a better educator each day. A special thank you to everyone at Palisade Prep, especially Patty Alcar and Rose O'Connell for their friendship and their encouragement. To my principal, Dr. Michelle Yerzulo, thank you for your continued support of implementing College Link classes through Syracuse at Palisade Prep. You made it happen for us. Yes. To all present and future educators, just as we teach the future of tomorrow, remember, we also learn from our students. So let us educate them and mold them to be upstanding citizen. We need them like they need us. Thank you all. Uh, the middle school the middle school award will go to Patricia Tadario. Uh, from Padilla School 15. Our teacher of the year, uh, Patricia, or you're called Trish. Uh, of School 15. Trish is a seventh grade co-integrated teaching assistant. Her nominators describe her as a hands-on educator who encourages the students to never give up. Parents say that she's helped their children flourish and prepare for high school. I'd like to invite Principal Michael Shapiro and student uh, Stephen Murphy to give brief remarks and help me recognize uh, Ms. Daddario. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, my deep honor and privilege to standing here representing Padilla School 15 and honoring one of our finest faculty members, Trisha Dario. Let's give her another round of applause. Before I talk about Trisha, I also want to congratulate Ms. Romero and Ms. Gorman, the other award recipients. Congratulations on a job well done as well. Great job. I also like to acknowledge the many family members and faculty and staff uh, here from Padilla School 15. Thank you so much for coming and supporting our wonderful, extraordinary Trish Daddario. Trish Daddario is an amazing individual. If you look at the uh, if you look at the Webster's Dictionary, and for our younger crowd, if you take out your iPads <laughs> and your iPhones or your Androids and you Google so many adjectives that describe her: caring, dedicated, structured passionate, 
compassionate. Your search will have a picture of Trish Dario each and every time. She's true and exemplar of what is right in education today. And we are blessed, truly blessed. All our students are blessed to have her part of our school community. It's one thing to receive an award from your teaching peers, but I think it's a different level when it comes to when the students nominate you. It really sets the standard. And Trish, you've been nominated by the students that you affect on a daily basis. For those who do not know, Trish is extraordinary for the simple reason. Trish comes in 45 minutes every single day early to tutor her students. And even those students she's not in care of, she's there to assist. On her cafeteria lunch duty, she's there tutoring. After school, she mentors and tutors students yet again. And what's even more impressive is that she emails her co-integrated parents each and every night on what the homework assignment was to ensure that her students are up to date with the work on a daily basis. And even more extraordinary is that Mr. Derry also tutors some of our parents who are struggling in certain areas of mathematics in LA to help support their children at home. She takes the time to meet with them to ensure that yet again, her students are successful. Tris, you're an amazing individual. I'm so honored and privileged to be part of the Padilla family and I'm glad you're part of our family as well. Congratulations and a job well done. And thank you so much, Principal Shapiro. You know, when you go through the many applicants that came in and the nominations that came in and some of what people wrote about their teachers, some of it is striking and some of it captures you. And uh, I think the person I'm going to ask to come up here and to say a few words is one of those people. Uh, Stephen Murphy, one of Trish's students, wrote a poem. He's right here next to me. He wrote a poem about Trish and I have to tell you, it was one of the main reasons why she got this award, because he was able to capture uh, what it was, the essence of his, of his, um, of, of his teacher. So I'd like to ask uh, Stephen to come up here and to uh, do his poem for us, so that you know how I felt that day when I read it. Stephen. MVP of the District by Stephen Murphy. This teacher is I am writing about today is amazing in every way. She has been with my class for years in a row. What we would do with her, I do not know. My friends and I all agree she has she is as cool as any as any teacher can be. As this poem begins to unfold, you will agree she is more valuable than gold. She is a way of making learning fun. Her energy is strong as the rays of the sun. Teaching is something she loves to do. She somehow gets true to us even when we have no clue. She will always take time to explain, even when our class is making her insane. She has a way of making the most of our time. That is why her students always shine. Let's compare school to sports, since she loves to be in the field or on the court. She has taught me if I want to hit that home run, my homework and studying are never done. If I swing the bat, I would definitely strike out. Same as if I don't work hard in school, I will fare without a doubt. There are times she has let me stumble and take a little fall, a lesson I have learned in life school and when I play ball. She has also helped me to, begin, to become the strongest person I can, I can possibly be. If I swing the bat and still strike out, I can know I cannot sit in the dugout and pout. I must get back up on my feet and try to make a victory out of my defeat. There are times in school when she, when I work hard but still uh, not so grand. She will always be there to cheer me on like a fan in the stand. By now you have no doubt who you're wondering who I'm talking about. Her name is Miss Trish Tedario. Without her, school would be a chaotic scenario. When I graduate from PS15 next year, I will be ready to face the life without a feel, fear. She has taught me to accept any challenges that may come my way. She has forever remained part of my life each and every day. Chris, would I come up and get your award?
This is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And these wives, if you've been, I'll hold them for a second so oh. they can stay away. Okay? Whew. That's tough to follow. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Mayor Spano, for um, creating this award. I was shocked, um, but very appreciative. I'm honored to stand up here and accept the Middle School uh, Teacher of the Year Award. Um, I want to thank Michael Shapiro, who, with his open door policy and strong leadership qualities, provided a safe, positive environment every day. I want to thank Ms. Cruz, my assistant principal, who um, gave me an opportunity at any time of the day to come in with all the drama that goes along with seventh grade. Isabel, our secretary, who opened the door every morning for all the students, the revolving door. Um, it's, it's not a one-man team. This award is not just I. It goes to a larger group. It's the parents who, through their dedication for their child's education, um, motivated me to do my best. It's the students every day coming in early, missing their lunch, after school, emailing, calling me. I can't, I, I can't do the homework. I love it. It inspired me. It's my middle school teacher team collaborating, always making me feel like I was part of the team. McCaffrey, Yana Lunes, Marion, Dusablon, Burke, Palay, DiNapoli, all of them, ever since I hit middle school, treated me like I was part of their team, regardless of me being teaching assistant. It's, it's just, it's not a one-man team, again. So it's not I thank you, it's we thank you for giving us the opportunity to set high standards and helping your children achieve them. So thank you again. Our elementary school award uh, goes to a teacher from Pearls Hawthorne, Dawn Gorman. Dawn. <clears throat> so she is our elementary school level uh, uh, honoree. Uh, Dawn is a pre-kindergarten teacher and was nominated by a group of 25 parents. They described her as extremely nurturing and very patient. Uh, and a great teacher. Dawn not only teaches her students, but she helps her helps the parents learn too. One parent who nominated Ms. Gorman said that Ms. Gorman has helped her become even a better teacher to her child back at home. And I'd like to invite Principal uh, Dr. Marjorie uh, to come up and to speak a little bit about uh, Ms. Gorman. Doctor? Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to say welcome and congratulations to our own Miss Gorman and also to the other recipients um, this evening. And a special thank you to Mayor Span uh, Spano for creating this award for the teachers. We who are in the trenches with the teachers, we know they are teachers of the year and teachers of the day and teachers of the century. But it's great when the district knows that and other people know it too. So congratulations again to everyone. And on behalf of the Pearls administration, teachers, staff, parents, and students, I would like to congratulate Ms. Dawn Gorman on this prestigious award. Dawn is a dinosaur at Pearls. I've been at Pearls a long, long time, and she has been there many years before me. But she has been the person she has been from the day she started teaching. Throughout the years, Dawn has been recognized an, as an outstanding educator, and I'm, and I'm happy now that she's now recognized outside of Pearls. And you know, as a pre-K teacher, that's where the foundation begins. And parents sometimes say, oh, it's just playing, and it's just learning, it's just centers, and it's all of this. But when you look to first grade, to kinder, to second, right up to high school, it's the pre-K teachers, and the pre-K teacher, Dawn Gorman, who has laid the, laid the foundation for all these students, from wiping the nose, to zipping the, the zippers, to tying the shoelaces, to showing them how to work in groups and to work with each other for socialization. It's the pre-K teachers who lay the foundation. So she has laid the foundation for students so that they can succeed in all the other grades. 
Dawn is highly regarded by her peers. She's dedicated, she's compassionate, she's passionate, she's nurturing, she's thoughtful, she's caring, and she is a great team player. It's truly an honor and a pri privilege to work with Dawn over these years. And on behalf of everyone, again, I want to say congratulations. This is well deserving, and I'm happy to be a part of it. And thank you, Doctor, and, and thank you for uh, all you do. Um, you know, Pearls is a, continues to be a blue ribbon school and one of a uh, recognized national leader in educational standards, uh, and it, certainly uh, why people want to come to Yonkers. So thank you for all you do there. And I'd like to ask uh, Lucia Alfano to give a few remarks about Ms. Gorman. So, Lucia Alfano. Is it Lucia? Lucia. Oh, Lucia. Okay. Hello, which one is it? This one. Hello everyone, thank you. On behalf of all the pre-K parents, we want to let you know, Mrs. Gorman, how grateful we are. In pre-K, you are providing our children a fundamental foundation for their future. You have not only taught them their letters, numbers, shapes, you have taught them the beginnings of becoming vibrant members of their communities and families. You celebrate them, to, you celebrate the, their achievements, but you also celebrate the parents and value the teacher-parent collaboration. You strive to give the best of yourself to the children and all of us parents can see that. You are dedicated, understanding, and always available to listen and help all of us. Thank you. The passion and love that you have for your job is transparent and contagious. The children come home filled with enthusiasm for what they are learning. What is most admirable is how much you squeeze in in such little time. How do you do it? Congratulations. Woohoo for Mrs. Gorman. Ms. Gorman. Okay, I have my little fans here, and um, when Kelly called to, to give me the news, I completely lost it. So I'm going to hold it together for just a couple of sentences and just say thank you to everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is my place, and I just love what I do, and I'm so glad you can see it. Thank you for giving me the opportunity every day to be in their lives and build that strong foundation. Like the person before me said, it's not I, it's we. And I have so many wonderful people to help. But one of them, my Mrs. Oliver, she is the key. We have been together for 17 years, and it's really a team that we can get everything done in that short amount of time. And it's because you parents, you send them ready to learn every day. And I am so thankful, and keep that up. Pre-K is the first time usually that they're coming away from their parents in their formal, formal education, so please be as involved as you are now keep that up. Um, we have a wonderful school, a wonderful city, and I'm just so thankful to be here. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. And before we close out, I'd like to at least ask uh, a member of the Yonkers City Council uh, to um, to uh, say a few words. Uh, let me tell you that the council president, Chuck Lezen, is here. So Chuck Lezek is here. The uh, councilman, Christopher Johnson, is here. But uh, I'm going to ask Mike Sabatino, who's the chair of the Yonkers Education Committee, uh, the, the person who basically takes the lead on the issues dealing with education as it pertains to uh, what we do over at City Hall. So I'd like to ask Mike Sabatino to say a few words on behalf of City Council. Councilman? First of all, I want to congratulate all of uh, the recipients tonight. Uh, 
I'm sure they're amongst many teachers that we have in the school system and I'm very happy that the mayor has instituted this award program and I'm sure we'll be seeing more teachers in the coming years that do such good work with our students. I mean many of you adults here where would we be without our teachers? I mean where would we be? I know I wouldn't be where I'm standing now. They are such a vital importance in our life, teaching us the basic tools that we need to have as we grow into adulthood and become successful professionals. It, to me, it's often uh, a profession that doesn't really get the respect that it should. Uh, I know from my own professional experience, in Europe, teachers are the most respected profession in the nation and um, I think we have to remember that they are the ones that mold our children and make them successful participating students. And I want to compliment all of the, the p teachers in the school system because many of you may know that we're, we're making very good progress in accomplishing and making Yonkers school system um, the best system in the state. In fact, just this week we were told that out of the five big cities, Yonkers has the highest rate of graduation. It's 73 percent. We have, we have a, a higher goal to reach. I'd like to see that well up into the 90 percent in the next coming years. And we have to realize that teachers are the ones that help us make that goal. We know things aren't perfect, but this administration and this council is working hard to make things better. As you know, we are, uh, we help to get some music, art, and uh, sports back in. We're hoping in the next coming years that we can reinstate the full day pre-K. As we've seen, it's a very, very important part of a child's development to have pre-K. So again, I congratulate all the awardees and um, have a pleasant summer. Thank you, Councilman Sabatino. And uh, last but not least, uh, unless, of course, one of the other councilman members want to speak, uh, but uh, he's basically uh, on his swan song now. He's the last six months or so of his of his time as council president. So I'd like to come up and maybe give him a round of applause and say thank you to our council president, Chuck Leslie. Thank you, Mayor. I really wanted to come up here because 20 years ago, my oldest daughter entered the building. Miss Gorman was there, uh, and although she didn't have pre-K with Miss Gorman, uh, she is now a teacher. So the cycle of life just continues, and, and all of the teachers really inspired. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, I was at a breakfast seminar this morning with Richard Ravitch, who was talking about uh, the need to invest in capital and infrastructure in this country and human capital. And he said he couldn't think of a, a worse way of ripping out our human capital infrastructure than to defund pre-K. So the reverse of that is how important pre-K is and hopefully the state, the city will be able to restore full day pre-K in the years to come. So uh, congratulations to all three of the teachers uh, who have won at each level, uh, all of the parents who have given the kids the fundamentals and, and the children who just really brightened up the day. Thank you, Mayor. I promise, one more. I'd like to ask uh, our trustee to come up and say a few words, uh, Judy, Judy Ramos Meyer. I am going to keep it brief but, brief, but I am going to echo what Dr. Brown said because it's true. I think all throughout the city of Yonkers, anybody who's involved in the school system, any of the students who are so lucky to have you teachers involved in their everyday lives know the champions that you are and what you do every day. But it's really important that throughout the city of Yonkers, all of the members, all of the residents of our city understand what a wonderful district we have, what amazing teachers we have, and what wonderful quality 
variety of students that we are putting out. So it is my pleasure to stand here today on behalf of the Board of Education and the Board of Trustees and congratulate each and every one of our honorees. And thank you all for coming out here to help us do that. And Mr. Mayor, I continue to thank you for all that you do for the school district. He really has made it one of his top priorities and it's the only way is if our administration and our city council back us up, keep the money rolling so that we can keep our schools going. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy the park. Good to see everyone. Congratulations to the honorees.